Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Justin and you're watching Survival Mindset. Today, I got some Mountain Dew. Probably wonder why I have some Mountain Dew out here. These are empty bottles. Today what we're going to be doing is making a survival waterproof capsule. So you will need two Mountain Dew bottles or any kind of bottle that you prefer. I want to go kind of small so that's why I'm using Mountain Dew, the two liters. You will need some kind of vice. So I got the DeWalt vice out. And you will need some epoxy. So let's get started on this project. Um, also, you will need a hacksaw or any kind of um, cutter today. What cutter I got is from Topps Knives. It's an awesome little cutter, so we'll be using this to cut the bottles open with. Follow me down to the tree stump over here. So now I have the two caps cut and they're not perfectly even. So I do have a rasp right here. The rasp is gonna make them nice and flush and remove some of the burrows that are on top of here. Now I got these two caps glued together. As soon as they dry, I'm gonna be slapping some glue on the outside to make them totally waterproof. And also, I will be testing these in my swimming pool. We're out at the pool now, and I let my capsule dry for 24 hours. And inside of here, I'll unscrew it for you guys so you guys can see. I did place um, a paper towel in there. Um, what we're going to be testing is to see if this floats and also to make sure it's waterproof. Now another thing you can do with these DIY bottle cap capsules is you can put a divider in the middle if you want to with a piece of the bottle and put salt on one end and pepper on the other end. Um, and if you're uh, worried about the glue or anything, you can always place like dime-sized bags in here, one with salt and one with pepper. Also, you can cut down matches and stick them in here as well, or this get bigger bottles, you know, um, a longer bottle, so you can stick your matches in there as well. So let's see how this floats. Um, this is the test. Make sure the caps are on nice and tight. Um, we're at my swimming pool and we'll drop this in. I don't have no cord on it, so I'm not gonna be dropping it in too far. So as you guys can see, it's floating right now. Let's get it out a little further. So it is picking up on camera and we'll give it a little dunk to you and let it come up. I don't want to let it go too far like I said. There's no cord on here. Let us splash it around a little bit to make sure the capsule is sealed properly. And we'll just let it float right here for a few minutes. So it's right there. That's about a good test if you do drop something in water, you know, like if you're in a river. Also, you would probably have a piece of uh, paracord, you know, on this as well, so you don't lose it. 
It's great for rafting trips too. Yeah, I mean, you can use anything like this for a rafting trip as well. I just thought it would be an excellent DIY project to share with you guys. So I'll take it out right now. Get some of the water off. See how well it worked. Take off the cap this way, actually. So nothing is wet. Okay, my hands are just a little wet, but as you guys can see, here's the paper towel. Not wet at all, and it is sprinkling outside here, by the way. It's barely sprinkling, but it's perfectly dry. The DIY capsule worked like a champ. I want to thank you guys for tuning into the channel every week. My name's Justin, and you're watching Survival Mindset. Have a wonderful afternoon. Peace out.